Okay, that's the second of my feedback videos for portraiture of uh, Florence Zeller to 7.2. I had intended this to be connected and joined to two or continuing from the one for 7.8 because I want you both there to look to look at each other's work and see how each other does. Um, not just thinking of what you or your classmates do, but seeing what other people do. As a way of comparing and contrasting, not as a way of seeing who's better, but as a way of seeing what, what ideas can I get from it. So the same as before, I was looking at proportion, tone, accuracy in the drawing of facial features, and variety of mark making. And the first two pictures on the far left, I like these because you've used materials that I haven't suggested. You've, you have the free choice, but I would have been quite happy with you working in pencil or pyro or some black and white medium. And you've chosen from the off here to go full colour. That's a risk, that's dangerous, but it pays off and it works and you've got some nice portraits coming out of this. Uh, the top one needs a little bit more development of the tone because once it's photographed it disappears a little bit into the background so it's, it's worth photographing your pictures and having a look at what it looks like on the phone or looking from a distance to see. Um, the picture below you can see that's some nice detail and turn in there, especially with both of these it's the attempt of showing the hair texture through that variety of mark making as well as getting in facial features. Um, again, have a look at them once you photograph them and see if it needs more contrast. But it's really good to see difficult materials being used. The second picture on the top row, as well as others, is going to be a long picture. Down below, you can clearly see the use of the grid. Again, the grid, same with the first grid, the grid is a time consuming setup technique for doing the portrait, but it does work. You can see we've got a grid in the top picture, you can see we've got a barber in the bottom picture. And that's because the grid makes it accurate as long as you take the time to set it up. You don't have to use the grid, you can trace. You can use an overhead projector if you've got one. You can or got access to one. You can freehand and you can use the grid. I wasn't worried about what the technique you used. And so it's nice to see the grid being used if you're in the corner here. Below Rihanna and next to Obama, we've got a nice linear portrait. And I like the way the hair has been drawn. The good thing about hair is it's all straight lines, so when you're drawing hair, you simply make your pencil or pencil go in the direction of the hair, which you can see is what this person's done, and that makes for a nice portrait. It could do with some more tone, but that's something that could be added to it. Uh, well, well, there we have a, another figure, and again, some painted material starting to appear on top of the drawing and tone. Just needs a bit of development in there, but it's proportionally correct and lifeless. And next to that, we have two linear portraits. Um, I really like this first of these two. Um, there's just something really interesting about this character's expression, and then look at the detail drawn within the face and going around the ear and all the facial features. This is a real observation, point, and a real care at picking out all these details. And then the last one on the top right. It's got a slightly more um, kind of anime look about it with the larger eyes, but I'll see the grid in use then again. We have the proportion totally accurate. The tone starting to come in. More tone work, perhaps some colour work could continue on to make a great finished portrait afterwards. But it's definitely well on the way. And then below this, we have a couple more examples of pieces of work um, created alongside the portraits creatures and griffins and butterflies and flowers but what I did like in particular was this sad uh, little plant monster at the bottom again thicker body coloured paint something incredibly different to do if you're not used to it and definitely well worth the experiment so between the two classes if you have as 7.2 if you've not looked at 7.8 do have a look at theirs as well and well done for everyone for doing some brilliant work